Hi Bookish fam, my name is Ashley and thank you for stopping by my channel Ashley vs. The Bookish Agenda. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Tome Topple Round 4 TBR. Tome Topple is a readathon dedicated to reading tomes, which are books over 500 pages and it was started by Samantha at Thoughts on Tomes. I am going to leave the link to her round four announcement in the description down below so you can um hear about dates times challenges and whatnot so my voice has been hoarse all day i don't know what happened so i may go in and out and if that doesn't bother you please stay tuned and find out what i'm going to read okay so if you saw my tome topple from April, I read New Moon. So in the spirit of things, I'm going to read Eclipse, which is the third book in the Twilight Saga. And if I'm just desperate to finish it out, I'm going to also read Breaking Dawn, which is the fourth and final book in the Twilight Saga. Okay, but if I read Eclipse, and I just want to take a break. I don't want to be in that world anymore. I have a whole list of books I can choose from because I'm a mood reader. I have to read whatever I want when it hits because I am in the middle of a reading slump and I don't want to push myself into a mode where I totally read nothing at all. So up first is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. This is about a girl who a spirit has invaded her body and it's sort of taking completely over like it usually does in this world the whole book they're battling for control so it's like two people trapped in one body and this is an adult book if you're looking for the, the challenge of um, reading an adult tome up next is a very popular one and that is the go the goldfinch my voice is <clears throat> the goldfinch by Donna Tartt this tells the story of Theo Decker who survived an accident that killed his mother and he's been abandoned by, by his father and he is adopted by these rich people and as an adult I think he sells black market artwork. Next is Roses by Leela Mitchum. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. I got this book based on one tagline and it was that this is the new gone with the wind and seeing as how i have been i've been trying desperately to find gone with the wind it's always like checked out at the library i never come across it in bookstores so i said why not give that a shot it tells the story of a man and a woman who have been together for a while they have kids but they never got married and now that they're older, they're having to deal with the consequences um, of some mistakes they made in the past. Up next is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. I got this book solely based on the recommendation of Cassandra Clare. She did a like little page for um, iBooks and she said that this was her favorite fantasy of all time. And so I had to run out and find it. And the funny story about it is I saw that she mentioned that this was her favorite um, fantasy book of all time. And I was going to get it that same day. And then Sunday at the end of the week, I saw it in the thrift store. And I'm all about that budget book buying. You can build up a nice collection and not have to come off of a whole bunch of coins. Okay, so my last one is a graphic novel, and it is Sculptor by Scott McCloud, and this is about a boy who make a man who makes a deal with the devil that gives him the ability to um, mold anything, I guess, out of any material. But because of that, he only has 200 days to live, and in those 200 days, he falls in love, and it just further complicates his life. This is Hugh mine I don't know if I'm gonna get through this but that would be for the graphic novel challenge let me see if I can hold all of these up 
Oh my God. So that is my tentative TBR for Tom, for Tom Topple round four. In the comment section down below, let me know the books on your Tom Topple TBR. And let me take this down before it falls everywhere. Also, let me know if you're reading any one of these. We could buddy read a book. And that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please follow me on all of my social medias, which will be linked in the description down below. And I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. So hit that subscribe button and leave a check mark. And as always, until we meet again.